Hey guys, so over the weekend Tesla dropped the holiday update and it brought so many cool features and enhancements, but the star of the show is really the high fidelity park assist system. This is an extension of the Tesla vision and the occupancy network. So not to confuse you guys with a totally brand new system. It really just is a super enhanced version of what we've already seen. Now my words alone cannot justify how amazing this system is. There is so much stuff going on in the background that we really need to dive more into it to really understand how big of a deal this really is. One of the biggest reasons why this version of Tesla Vision is such a big upgrade over the last is the fact that it now uses heat mapping. So that means that you're able to see how far and how close you are to an object without using the distance measurement numbers. In this video here, I'll mainly let the video speak for itself. But what is happening is when you do pull into a tighter parking spot, you will notice that it can detect everything all around the vehicle and give you a heat map dependent on the color that you see on the visualizations you know how far and how close you are to that object now to put things into perspective in comparison to the ultrasonic sensors you are going to be getting a massive upgrade over what you are used to and this is why there are so many people that relied on the ultrasonic parking sensors and now really wish that they got the tesla vision system in their vehicles now what gets me even more excited about all this is the fact that the version 1 just literally dropped this weekend and there is version 2 already being worked on right now and it should bring so much more refinement to the system. We'll talk more about this in the next video. So first off, ultrasonic sensors are hands down more accurate and more reliable at this very point but things are totally changing and eventually Tesla is going to move everything over to Tesla Vision because of these reasons. You'll first notice that with ultrasonic sensors, they differ in so many different ways. Depending on the quality of those sensors, you get a further distance versus a closer distance on some vehicles. So on car brands such as Honda and Toyota, you're going to need to get really close to the object before it warns you. But on cars such as Lexuses and BMWs, you're going to get a much further range depending on the quality of that sensor. Second, unlike Tesla Vision, the parking sensors requires things to be directly in its path, so nothing below the sensors and nothing on top of the sensors. It will not be able to detect things that are very narrow and very thin. And forget about street curbs and rocks, it's not going to be able to detect it at all. And finally, the biggest differentiator between Tesla Vision and ultrasonic sensors is that ultrasonic sensors, once they are blocked up by dirt and debris, the whole system completely shuts down. So now, let's move on to Tesla Vision and why it's such a big deal and why every other car manufacturer should be moving over to Vision. A lot of us watching this video may have the perception of Tesla's attempt at bird's eye view but it's so much further than the truth. This system isn't just simply stitching camera views together and giving you a 360 bird's eye view. This camera here is going to be the only camera, the only system in the world that is able to stitch everything together but at the very same time have have the computer and the vehicle react to the surroundings, meaning that the car will eventually be able to do everything on its own, whereas other systems will only be able to assist the driver. Now there is so much more to talk about with the system, but I'm not going to go into hardcore nerd mode in this video, I'd rather leave it up for the videos for you guys to decide. So why don't we go ahead and move on to the real benefits of Tesla Vision Now versus all the parking sensors. First off, you're going to be able to see things directly on the visualization that you were never able to with ultrasonic sensors. It will be able to detect things such as trees, poles, rocks, and even the thickness of the paint lines on the ground. I would say that the most annoying thing when pulling into a parking stall is that you're unable to see the wheel curb or the wheel stopper, and that means that you're gonna scratch up your front bumper. Well, ultrasonic sensors cannot detect it. It has never been able to detect it, but with Tesla Vision, you're able to see it all and see it with the heat maps. As it sits with where V1 is and the eventual release of V2, Tesla Vision can theoretically see everything around it and there are even things that you wouldn't ever think possibly be detected by the system. Things such as the thickness of grass, maybe police line tapes, and even marbles rolling down the road. There is so many possibilities of this system and so many ways for it to detect objects in its path. These are just things that really parking sensors have no chance at and would dream of being able to detect. Not only does the system visualize everything on the screen, but this 
This is based off of software version 12 of full self-driving and that means that it will be able to eventually use everything within version 12 and apply it to the auto park and smart summon system. On top of that, with the neural net and everything else in its system, they are able to accurately fill in the blank of whatever might possibly be missing in the scene. An example would be another car parked right behind a thick wall and the only thing visible is the front headlight. Well, your Tesla is going to be able to detect that and fill in the blank and fill in the rest of the car behind that wall. This applies to many scenarios such as vehicles parked adjacent to you blocked by other objects or vehicle and Tesla Vision is going to be able to fill in the rest of that person and where they are expected to be. This is going to be massive in terms of full self-driving. So yeah, with all this in mind and everything you see so far, don't take the literal visualizations into heart too much. I know things might not look as refined as you think, but there is so much happening in the background that no 360 bird's eye view camera is able to ever compete with this unless they're using the same neural net and vision system. I hope this gives you a little bit more clarity on the Tesla vision system and how it's better than the ultrasonic sensors. I try to see what it's capable of in the future versus what we get right now with some of the other systems. Trust me guys, I am not one to get easily persuaded by any system out there and I do have a lot of videos on Tesla vision of what it does good and what it does bad overall so go check those videos out and come back here let me know what your guys' thoughts are and anyways this should wrap it up for this one i hope you guys enjoyed it wait up for the next video i will be talking everything about version 2 of this system make sure you guys hit that subscribe button that bell notification follow me on twitter at hey john e this is john once again peace out